Hey everyone, welcome back to Cider A from Scratch, more specifically another nightcap episode. So today we are taste testing Daily Dry by Farmhouse Cider Co. Is it Farmhouse or Farmhouse? Farmhouse, I'm gonna say. It is spelled H-A-U-S. I still think it's pronounced house. I think it's house. Okay. Two weeks their own. <laughs> I'm actually really excited about this one because it claims to be probably the world's driest hard cider. I'm a big fan of the dry, so I'm pretty excited about this. I like the can too. Me too. I was just going to say, I really like the graphics on this thing. I don't know if it's the shiny like gold part or I don't know. I just really like it. I like that it's not too like wow. It's nor more normal colors maybe. It's, yeah. I don't know. You can kind of see more of the, the texture, the color. I just... It blends really well. The blue and the gold and yeah. the tan background. It's cool. I like it a lot. We've got 6.4% uh, ABV, uh, zero total sugar. So we did have a discussion about is there sugar left over in a dry cider? So here's proof. Zero grams of sugar in a very dry hard cider. Yep. Uh, 12 ounce can, Michigan hard cider, obviously. It's from Hudsonville, Michigan. I used to live in Hudsonville. I did not know. I've never heard of them. I didn't know they had a cidery there, but that's cool. Pretty sure I saw a bunch of farmhouse stuff at Clint Cap. Okay. So potentially they have a bunch of ciders. Yeah. Uh, a couple of things, gluten-free, vegan, a thirst for change and ambition for better. Please recycle. Family owned, the kind of dry that makes your mouth water. If at first you don't agree, try dry again. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool, I like that. Pure, dry, and fresh, made with 100% Michigan apples, and the ingredients tab is just Michigan apples. Okay, nothing added. That's cool, I like that. Should we like pour some and try some? Yep, I'm excited. All right, we've got our Cider scores sheets that are going to help us along that you got at Glint Cap. Yep. So we know how we're going to cover this. So first thing, aroma. Smells of apples. No funky fermentation type smells, which we've have smelled in some. Definitely not in here. This is. I just realized it was really hard for me not to take a sip. I almost just took a sip. We're not there yet. I know. Yeah, very fruity. I would say it's on the higher end of fruit smell. Yeah, I would say this is probably like a nine out of 10 for mm -hmm. aroma. Yep. The Very other good. categories here, fruit, fermented, or funk. And the only thing I have is fruit. Yeah, there's no off funky fermentation type flavors. I'm not a big fan of those flavors and smells. I guess it smells, we're not in flavors yet. Uh, appearance, hue, clarity. So the hue, they say pale, yellow, gold, amber, or brown. It's Where not, is it closer? It's not super clear, mm -mm. but I don't mind. I don't, I don't think it needs to be clear. I don't think it's gold yet. I'm going to say it's yellow. I've seen paler colors before that mm -hmm. are less yellow. So I've definitely scale, seen some darker ones too. I'm going to say, say yellow. yellow. Yep. And then clarity, I think you just talked about. Brilliant, it's a, it's a little hazy, hazy. Op opaque. It's, it's in between hazy and opaque. Opaque. I don't know how just brilliant is. Brilliant is probably you can see through like a like a diamond. Oh yeah, you I gotcha. You can see through. Okay. I don't know. I'm making that up. All right. Flavor. Should we finally taste yeah. it? We're gonna have to rearrange these in other ones because I can't wait that long. Oh yeah, that's good. It's very dry, very crisp. Yeah, there's no sweetness at all. Oh my gosh, it's so good. That might be your favorite, huh? It It is missing a little bit of carbonation though. I was gonna say, I don't taste a lot of like acidity either. Sweetness, none, definitely dry. Absolutely none. Which they claim, so that's perfect. Acidity, I think there's a, a little bit, like a low to medium acidity. Nothing too crazy. Uh, it's pretty balanced for a dry. 
Bitterness? I don't, I don't get any bitterness. Zero for me. I like how it's, it's not super sour, but it has a little bit of sour finish to it. That's you know, what, that's like what a, it. Um, a little bit of tart sour finish to it. Makes your mouth water. Just the right amount. I've actually never tasted anything close to this ever. Warming would be probably more of like, if it was super alcoholic -y. Yeah, like down. No warming issues. Astringency, nothing to call there. It's not, it's not super thin. To me, it has a lot of flavors. They're just not sugar flavors. Yeah. It's good. I've never had anything like this before. It's very unique in my palate. Viscosity. Normal. Normal, nothing to call out. Finish, Finish. I said is quick. I, I think it has a, a lasting. I think it has a little bit of a lasting finish because it's that dry sensation that. See, I think a finish is like a taste tasting finish though. Like how long does it taste leave your mouth? I don't know. That's just the way I interpreted it. And I said quick. To me, it has a, a sharp kind of tart, dry finish. It's not like, it's not like a drinking a dry wine, but it's a little bit of that sour tart finish. Balance is good. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. I'd probably give it somewhere around like a, f so this is appearances out of a four. Probably say like a, like a two for appearance. It's nothing too crazy. I would have liked to see probably either a little bit lighter in color or a little bit darker in color. It's kind of in the middle. So like a two out of four there. And for flavor mouthfeel, probably like a over 20, 22 probably. So that'd be four points, five points off total. It'd be a 45, that would be a gold winner for me. 45 out of 50? 45 out of 50. It's tough when um, you're not as big of a fan as you are because it says everything, like everything it says is what it is. Right. I just don't find it my favorite cider. So it's a little bit tougher. It's, it's almost identical to what they say it is. No sweetness, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I think it's excellent. Like I would probably have ranked it really high as well, above a 40 out of 50, but it's just, it's not my favorite, you know? So it's well, that's where when it comes to these uh, Glint Cap tasting guides and tasting score sheets, you have to take whatever the can, whatever the is. producer is telling you yep. and make sure it's all of those things. Yep, and I think it is. Okay. Absolutely. If you guys like try, definitely recommend getting this one. It's very good. And let us very know good. if you do try it. Let us know in the comments if you've had it before. It'd be awesome to connect with you guys on that. So. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching this video with us and joining us for another nightcap. Thank you so much for your support as always, and we will see you next week. Remember, always follow your dreams.